While President-elect Trump geared up to meet with Silicon Valley executives, you might have missed the brain-powered game, the robot power jumper, and a return to hieroglyphics. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where God has blessed this land with Google's Emoji Speak, where you can tweet at Google the thing you want and it'll respond as if you'd bothered with words in a search bar anyhow. Words were a fun phase. Bush babies aren't just adorable, they're also the animal kingdom's most agile jumpers thanks to special tendons in their rear legs that store energy, allowing them to jump more than six feet vertically, way higher than they would with just muscle power. Now a team of researchers from UC Berkeley built a robot with similarly impressive hops. This is SALTO, which stands for Saltatorial Locomotion on Terrain Obstacles. The Salto robot stands less than a foot tall and weighs only 100 grams, but it manages to leap more than three feet off the ground. It can gain even more height by jumping off of walls like a mechanical Ryu Hayabusa. <laughs> and once they figure out how to chain multiple jumps together, the Berkeley team hopes to eventually unleash swarms of Saltos into disaster zones to help search for survivors among the rubble. University of Washington researchers designed an experiment where users play a game with just the power of their brains. No joystick, just zombie food. Let me explain. They wore a magnetic coil at the base of their skull that let them interact with a 2D computer game using only brain stimulation. To move around or descend stairs, the users had to sense something called a phosphine, which looked like a blob of light to them. It's a whole brain science thing. But long term, this could help assist people with sensory deficits or be used for more realistic VR experiences. Woohoo! Yeah, it'll probably be that. And finally, since it's the 2016 winter shutdown at CERN, the employees are doing a mannequin challenge, which is exactly what I needed today. All of Engadget will probably do one at CES.